over at Gormless Goat and as you can see I've managed to get Gormless Goat up into diamond tier now. Um, that happened a little bit earlier today. Uh, I picked up um, troop health with my um, chest this morning. Um, so, let's see, yeah, um, picked up troop health. It's the first node after 5ER, maxed that out straight away and then really kind of started to pick up on a run. Um, as you can see, I've also added uh, shock launchers to Gormless now as well. They're up to tick four. Um, other than that, my tree hasn't really changed. Artillery's at tick four. Uh, critters are, I've put to tick three just to get a few more critters. Just helps to clear those mines a little bit. Um, coming down the tree, so nothing else has really changed. I don't have any of the extra defences on this one, so all the defensive nodes are still, still waiting to be opened. Make kits at level 3 just to help the Zookas heal if they do take a hit from a random mortar or a mine. Um, and my smoke still at still at tick one, uh, flare still at tick three for that same reason. Um, when you when you're flaring, you you don't want um, troops to be kind of heading towards a flare. You want that flare to time out quite quickly. Um, it just makes sort of manipulating the troops around the map a little bit easier sometimes. So we kept that at tick three. Okay, so now um, that, that this is my layout at the moment. This is probably going to change later. Um, now I'm into diamond, I'm sort of coming across diddles, uh, or gramps, um, bombardiers, um, depending on how you know them by, um, th those sorts of hits, rocket choppers as well, so I need to kind of change the base around a little bit uh, to be able to kind of defend a bit more universally against those those sorts of hits. Warriors, warrior hits aren't really an issue anymore um, with defensive building damage, with the shock launchers. Um, warriors tend to be um tend to be obsolete now you might get somebody to drop a few boats of warriors maybe to try and take this right side out but obviously that takes away from their main assault on the left side i think it happened to me once which resulted um resulted in a fizzle i think it could have been westy let's just take a quick look at that um yeah it was so Westies landed warriors to try and take this this right side out which has left him with one heavy and one gramps so the warriors fizzled quite quickly before they'd had chance to do what he wanted them to do um, and the gramps were only able to take out one one or two more ERs um, which left those two at the top there. So yeah, warriors really aren't a good idea at this stage. So like I say, I'll, I'll be redesigning this base a little bit later on. Um, so yeah, let's go back through my attack log. Um, let's take a look at this first one. Two minutes 45, it's not too bad. Anywhere between 240, 250 is a good time. Anything over 250 is gonna be exceptional, especially with heavy Zookas. So, what what I've done here is landed one and one up here, one and one here, and then two and two over here. Uh, the reason that I've done that is to get these two sniper towers down as quickly as possible. These guys are going to take this little cluster over here, and then everyone will start to converge on this area here. I've already barted out that ER up top there, so we're working towards this area here now. So shutting the shock mine down, a little bit late on that shock, but shutting that shock mine down, this other one's now come into play. I'm kind of trying to leave it as long as possible before I drop a shock mine on it. I don't mind losing a few of the girls because I've got these guys coming in as, to back me up. Um, but racking up the GBE, get another shock down on it. Now these girls nicely split over and they, they took care of this shock launcher so it didn't have to drop another shock on it um, which meant that I could clear the rest of these defences in this corner and as soon as that ER had dropped flare the final ER get a shock down on this nonsense up here and then that's that base taken care of that's kind of how all of the hits have gone um, all of the hits have gone with with Gormus go um, again split drop again and they do exactly the same thing again I've barted that one out again 
keep the shock launchers pinned down with shocks try and when you drop your shocks try and grab a boom cannon or something else in with that shock as well and again flare to that er get that gone as down as soon as possible um and like i said they pretty much all like that um so th this one here is a little bit different. I've dropped one and one to take this cluster out on this corner and then three and three. And they're just going to walk through along this path. As I know they're going to do that, I know this is the ER that I'm going to bar out. So that's four artillery max, sorry, four barrage max, one artillery dropped on that. That takes care of that. These guys taking care of business down here. The one on one have taken care of this little cluster in the corner and then they all converge up here and do their thing. Still got plenty of heavies out front. I don't need to worry about clearing mines and I can now just flare that finally. Our shock to those machine guns and that's that one taken care of. Uh, next one. Again, these, these distractors down here, you want to get them gone. You don't want to be landing all your troops in this corner. Otherwise, they're just going to pull off and follow the sniper towers. They're not going to follow this natural line that's been created. So, you drop, split the drop and let them just fan out, spread out. Keep that shot launcher pinned down. That ER's already gone. Once that shot launcher's gone, flare to that final ER and get that down. So the next one, which will be... Uh, yes, this is the cluster base. So uh, here I have dropped everything all at once. Four, or two, say two, two heavies go down, then bazookas, and then slightly delayed drop with my other heavies. These heavies I've flared all the way up here, so they've had to kind of come round the left side of the zookas. And then it's just a question of dropping shocks. Again, you see there that shock's got two cannons, one machine gun, and the shock blaster in it. And as those defense get the next shock down that's got the two cannons the shock blaster and the shock launcher try and get that sh those shocks when you land those shocks try and cover as much as you can so that one there two boom cannons and the shock launcher machine gun just to helps to limit the damage slightly keeps those heavies that meat shield going as long as possible uh, this one i didn't bar out an er they, they split so nicely uh, I didn't need to bar an ER, which is good because I needed the GBE to keep everything locked down whilst I um, whilst I sort of cleared through. This one, again, what I did here was uh, I messed the drop up here a little bit. I had two heavies, one Zooka up there, one heavy, one Zooka there, and then one heavy, two Zookas. This should have been two heavies, two Zookas. So I've kind of messed this one up a little bit. But um, the, the result was still the same. These guys cleared, move over to this one. They converge over here. And then we just, I think we bark, we bark this ER out. Yeah, bark one ER out. And as soon as you get a kind of walk through, just get that flared, get that down as soon as possible. Um, that was that was that one, 239 reasonable time, but he really, he really went to town on that one, 253. Um, again pretty much the same so one and one just to make sure that this sniper tower goes by the time these have gone that way the troops won't go wandering off after this sniper tower they'll just push on up the map and then it's just a question of managing the shock uh, sorry managing the mines to make sure that uh, they don't wipe out any of the girls but that uh, finally our er out and then a hail mary flare to the last er standing pretty much the same hit again one and one down there to take care of those er's uh, those those sniper towers oh my god Goodness. Sorry guys, a long day at work today and uh, make, making a few silly little mistakes in describing my hits here. Keeping those shot launchers pinned down all the time. This guy retreated on me. 
Um, I remember this hit now. I thought it was going too slow and that I wasn't going to pick it up. But with two ERs left to take down, he retreated on me. So I knew that I then had the time to just um, just casually finish his base off. Um, so again, over here, this will be one and one on this side. Three and three over here. keeping the shot launcher pinned down and again they're pretty uh, pretty uniform these hits manage the mines with critters keep that um, shot launcher pinned down as soon as you've got enough uh, GBE get that ER barted out and then flare to the final one um, and then my last my last battle was a defeat mm. so this one, I two and two, two and two, and then they're going to converge over here. Follow this up round. Cheeky little uh, shot blaster hidden in there behind the trophies. Don't forget to make when you're scouting, make sure you scout properly because those things have a tendency to bite you. And if you haven't noticed them, um, you, you can lose a lose a vital one last heavy. So it's important to know they're there. Uh, so at this point, I have plenty of heavies left as, they, as it's coming into the range of the shot blaster. Um, so I let, let the shot blaster run for a little bit. I don't want him to take too many heavies out. But now I'll get a shock on it as they're all coming into range. Because um, I, I say I don't, don't want those dropping and those zookas being exposed. So clear this. And then we, I had a load of GBE, so I just threw that at the final ER. And that was that done. So yeah, that, that's been pretty much the day on Gormless. That's what got me to 21. Um, so so uh, here, that was my boss fight. Um, that got me up into 21. I lost the next one, dropped me back down to 20. Got one, that one at 21. Then I remembered that I had enough keys to be able to get shock launchers. And these two battles were both with me with shock launchers. So, yeah, that's pretty much where I am now, guys. Um, I'll be back again soon, where I'll take a uh, ballistic ball to five ERs with all of those defences, so I should be able to build a very, very dirty base, hopefully push that one into diamond. Um, and then this one, this account, I don't quite know yet which path I'm taking beyond five ER, whether I'm going to go top with Cavan and Diddles, or bottom to collect the defensive building damage and the heavy chopper um, heavy chopper you're inevitably going to need for the seeker meta later but like I said I'm, I'm a little bit undecided as to which way I'm going to go so that's it for now guys thanks for watching if you've enjoyed it if you found it useful don't forget to hit the like button um, if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and hit the notifications and that way you'll get notified of any more warships videos that we post and all the other fun stuff that we put up on YouTube here at BBTFRG. Many thanks guys and catch you soon. Bye.